it's Michelle, and welcome back to the Royal Daily Tea. We have a lot of juicy Royal Tea to get through today, so you know what to do. Sit back and relax, grab yourself a beverage, and let's get into the Royal Daily Tea. Well, there's officially a brand new portrait of King Charles. On Monday, the Cabinet Office unveiled a brand new photograph of King Charles that public institutions like police forces, schools, courts, and fire and rescue services all across the United Kingdom can apply for free of charge to hang inside of their public buildings. Now, the portrait was taken by photographer Hugo Bernard at Windsor Castle in late 2023. Now, according to the Cabinet Office's official statement, King Charles 75 wears the Royal Navy uniform of the Admiral of the Fleet along with official medals and decorations in the image. Now, the photographer, Mr. Bernard, also took the coronation photographs as well as the wedding portraits of King Charles and Queen Camilla for their 2005 wedding. Now, the Deputy Prime Minister, Oliver Dowden, said in the Cabinet Office's official statement, the accession of His Majesty the King marked a brand new chapter in our national story. Displaying this new portrait will serve as a reminder to us all of the example set by our ultimate public servant, and I hope as many eligible organizations as possible will wish to continue this proud British tradition and honor our king's reign. The new portrait of King Charles can hang alongside any past portraits of Queen Elizabeth that the public building might have. Very cool, and I have to say this is an absolutely stunning photograph of King Charles. So that old saying that your reputation precedes you is definitely following Prince Harry and Meghan Markle around Hollywood. That word has gotten out that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle do not translate into dollar bills and that several companies who have partnered with the gruesome twosome of Montecito have ended up in the red. Just ask Spotify, Netflix, and Penguin Random House to say a few. Now, a story has come out that Meghan Markle is humiliated as publishers demand she submits memoir drafts before they issue a payment. Now, we know that there's been a rumor that Meghan Markle and her secret diaries that she wants to write a book and tell her story. You know, Meghan Markle has a lot to say and she doesn't have an NDA, right? So we all know there's going to be a book sometime in the future for a poor little Megzy Markle to play Ariel and the professional victim, whether that's during her marriage to Prince Harry or after her marriage to Prince Harry. We're not quite sure. But considering the fact that Prince Harry had a pretty decent amount of success with his book Spare, yes, it was a bestseller, although Penguin Random House came out and admitted they didn't exactly make a profit because you have to remember they handed Prince Harry a huge advance of $20 million. So you take that and all the cost of production and the fact they were giving people two books for the price of one, they didn't exactly make a profit. Now, there are rumors that Meghan Markle wants to write her memoirs based on her diaries and that she has been shopping around to several publishers, according to Neil Sean, that are very interested. Of course, if Meghan Markle wrote a burn book about the royal family, we're all going to read it. Let's be honest. It's going to be serialized in the Daily Mail, just like Endgame or the book from Tom Bauer. We all know the drill. But the problem is, is that publishers are a little nervous because Harry and Meghan have a horrible and toxic reputation, and they're not going to pay this woman millions of dollars until they see at least two or three chapters. They want to make sure that Meghan Markle has a worthwhile story, that she's not just rehashing the same stuff that has been circulating for the past four to five 
years. We've all heard the same stories over and over again. We have to remember that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have literally been away from the royal family now for almost four years. And we all know that the more time that Harry and Meghan spend estranged and apart from the royal family, the further they fall in irrelevancy. And the publishers know they don't want to rehash old stories. They want to sell books. They want the goods. They want the new gossip that nobody else has heard, right? So Megan, honey, you better dust off your little diaries. But the problem is, is that they want to see the proof in the pudding. They want to make sure that she's worth investing in. So she has to produce three or four chapters. And according to Neil Sean, she is humiliated that they didn't just write her in advance for 10 to $20 million dollars the same way that they did for Prince Harry. Now we know that Meghan will have to hire a ghost writer, but here's the problem. We all know that Meghzy Markle and Prince Harry are paranoid and everything they do has to be under lock and key for security. So if they go to a publisher and they supply the three or four chapters that are needed, there's a possibility it could be leaked. And then the story and the deal would be ruined. So now Megan is caught between a rock and a hard place because she wants to get the money. She wants to tell her story, but she can't risk, you know, people leaking what she submits to a number of publishers. Because if that gets out, then her story and book is ruined. So Meghan Markle is finding that it's a lot harder to sell her story because people just don't want to pay her large sums of money. But mark my words, I do believe Meghan Markle will have a book sometime in the future. Now, we also know that Prince Harry is probably going to come out with Spare 2.0 the sequel, because he left a lot out of the book. Now, I don't think that Prince Harry will come up with a book anytime soon. However, considering the fact that Harry and Meghan are having huge financial problems and that their Netflix deal could go belly up in 2025, and if WME drops Meghan Markle, like we think they will this year, they could be desperate and have to go back to the drawing board and come up with Spare 2.0. And in my opinion, if they continue to trash the royal family, they're going to be done. And the only way they're going to make money is by another book. However, is Penguin Random House going to give them any more money? Probably not since they gave him the 20 million and Meghan Markle is not able to get any money from anyone until they see some chapters. So even slamming the royal family is now proving to be a little bit difficult for Harry and Meghan because people are not rushing to give them money for their upcoming memoirs. So what do you guys think about that story? Do you think that Meghan Markle will come up with her burn book? And do you believe that they will become so desperate that we're going to see the sequel to Spare in 2025? Leave me your comments, guys, down below. Well, guys, that is all the royal news that I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And if you enjoy my content and you have not yet subscribed, I hope you will subscribe and hit that notification bell as I'm working really hard to hit 30,000 subscribers by the end of January. And we are getting very, very close. So please subscribe, like, and share my channel. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope to see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.